and this is what I wanted to show you at intersections because Kathmandu's roads are not multiple lanes on each side like probably what ring road would be inside the city it's probably just one lane on each side maybe one and a half it's very important to park your car in a very how should i put this in a very suitable manner in the sense in nepal because we drive on one side of the road you are allowed to make left turns without stopping at the traffic light unless the police tells you to do so and the thing is at intersections there's always a lane of vehicles that will go straight or to the right and another left only lane where vehicles don't need to stop and i see so many times where vehicles will park their car in such a way that the left lane only gets obstructed and this unfortunately is something that can't be taught just that easily it comes with practice and a bit of awareness on the driver's behalf like there's so many times where people in the right lane obstructs the car on the left lane or just just by bad parking like they have to be able to park the car in such a way that a bigger SUV will fit on the left hand side <clears throat> i just don't understand why people don't do that especially and i'm not just talking about cars i'm also referring to bikes like Oh my god, the number of times bikers will just park on any spot and then assume that a bigger car will fit through. I just don't understand it. <laughs> I've had so many times where on these intersection, these four-way turning especially, I am very close to bikes and they get very pissed at me for driving that close to them but the fact is i can't make the car fly i have to use the road and i am making a left turn so th there's nothing that i can do like i i don't know like i too commute by scooty two wheeler and i feel like a lot of bikers just assume and take for granted that there's always space for them at the front of the line which may or may not be the case like yes maybe there is space for a bike at the front maybe there's space for like 10 bikes at the front but there's so many bikes in town if everyone assumes there is space for them like how's that gonna work out once the space at the front for 10 bikes is full then that just going to like pile up and come back and so yeah i just don't understand it like how are people <laughs> just going to the front of the line in these intersections assuming there will be space for them instead of waiting behind i don't know it's one of those mysteries <coughs> the next pet peeve that i always have with people is indicator usage and i have expressed this in multiple vlogs about proper indicator usage like whether or not people use them on time and that is just something i don't understand why do people always give indicators late like why is it never earlier the best thing an indicator will do for you is communicate to those around you that hey i'm about to make a left i'm about to park i'm about to make a right and i think when you communicate on the road like that it's great because then those around you will be able to maneuver themselves around without getting in your way and that's just what i don't understand <laughs> like why would people not use their indicators Anyway, this is just a short vlog on like to-do tips, I guess, in town. 
while driving. Stick to your right lane. Use indicators when lane changing, when making lefts, rights, when parking. Just communicate on the road. And I think these little safety tips will definitely do a lot for everyone's sake. Anyway, drop a comment if you liked what you heard today or you have any thoughts on this. And I'll see you on the next vlog.